Right, hello peeps, welcome back. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I put a video out. Be perfect, I slipped a disc in my back. I've already got two impacted discs in my spine. Uh, the third one's popped out, been in agony, in bed for a week. Now I'm just sort of taking things easy. Now for the excuses out of the way. There's been no uh, scrapping videos because scrap is absolutely dead in the Hearts of Essex border where I am. Um, prices of scrap are up, everybody's out doing it. So anyway back to the fridge, the Iseco. I've had it in house for about a week. I've settled on about six or seven degrees as being the ideal temperature to keep your stuff cool. Um, it's not too cold, it's not too warm, etc, etc. Humidity levels are really up in here today. About 55%. I can show you that. That's the temperature in the room at the moment. 56% humidity, 23 degrees. Um, in the room with us, we've got a fridge free, uh, freezer, chest freezer that the fridge is standing on. There's a hot water boiler behind it, so the temperature varies in here quite a lot. And there's also a, a cold and hot water storage tanks in here, so it's probably the warmest room in the house. Um, that's enough of the background. Right, at the moment it's cooling down. I've just switched it on. It's going to go from 8 to 6 degrees. When it gets down to 6 degrees and switches off, I shall start the timer. Then I'll leave the timer running without me yapping in the background and you can see how long it takes. Well, it's down to 7 so it'll be down to 6 in a minute and I'll start the timer so you'll see how long it's off for and how long it's on for. It roughly cycles about every 20 minutes, so three times an hour. When it first starts up, as you can see here from the watt meter, it's currently at 34 watts. When it first starts up it just peaks at about 40, 41 watts and then it settles down to roughly 35, 36 watts while it's in its middle of its cooling process. It's dropping at the moment so it's getting close to switching off. Um, and then I'll say I'll leave the video running without me yapping and you can I'll, I'll edit it so you'd have to sit there for the full 20 minutes watching it. Um, and you can see how much how many watts it takes when it's running and when it's not running. When it's on standby it's that will show about 0.9 of a watt some of which is for the power brick, some of which is for the display. So we'll see how close we get to the uh, claims. That's if I can even work out what the wattage is in the lamp hours. If not, I'll just leave it to you. Like, I'm sure there's someone out there clever than me. I know there's someone out there clever than me. I know there's lots of people out there clever than me. So I'll leave it to one of them to work out. And they can get back to me and uh, let me know in the argument section if possible. We'll see. Anyway, when it switches off, I'll start the timer and then you'll be able to see how long it runs for in a switched off state. Before it'll go back up to 8 degrees and switch on, and then you'll be able to see how long it's on for to drop the 2 degrees until it switches off. And then we can calculate how many times it does that an hour, and from that we can extrapolate watt hours and amp hours. Oh, it's getting ready. There we go, it's just switched off. So I've started the timer. Now you can watch the timer how long it takes to get back up to 8 degrees. That will give you some idea of how well insulated it is. And then you can time how long it takes to get back down to 6 degrees. That will give you some idea of how efficient the pump and cooling system is. There you go, it's just come on as soon as that hit 8, it came on. That's 16 minutes off. 16 minutes and 6 seconds, I think. We'll see how long it takes before it switches off again. As I say, the, the cycle is usually about 3 times an hour 15, 16 minutes off, 4 minutes on. Um, you can see the watt meter there, it's peaked at just about 41 watts. It's now dropping down and it will settle at about 35, 36. Obviously the initial wind rush to start the motors quite a lot once the motor's up to speed and you've overcome the weight of the moving parts, it takes less energy to keep it moving. So that's as near as damn it, 16 minutes off, four and a half minutes on. That's a 20 minute cycle, that's three times an hour. The wattage peaks 
when it first switches on at 42, very close to being 42, and then sits at about 34 for most of its cycle, so I'd say the average is somewhere around 36. So that's 36 watts for four and a half minutes, three times every hour. Perhaps somebody out there can work out what that works out to in watt hours or amp hours. I'm not clever enough for that. The temperature in the room, if it makes a difference to somebody, it's always somebody who wants a bit more information. It's 22 degrees in here at the moment, near as damn it, 59% humidity. If anybody wants to know what's actually in the fridge, hang on a sec, you're on a shtick. And what's in the fridge is, hang on, I've got to lower my walking stick so it'll fit in the room. I've got you on a walking stick. It's a bit of a hodgepodge. I've got three two litre bottles of water, pot of mayo, some milk, I assume this is what most people carry. Jaffa cakes, no, keep the Jaffa cakes in the uh, non-dairy section, otherwise they end up too stiff to eat. We've got some uh, naughty afters. Everything in there is cold as you would like. It's at six degrees quite obviously. And there's a little bit of frost around the edge where the um, cooling pipes obviously are. And it's quite humid here, so the humidity is obviously coming out and chilling on the side of the fridge when I open the fridge up. But there you go. We're back down to six degrees and we're sitting if you can see that point nine of a watt that's the standby obviously this is on 240 volts so the um, power bricks taking something as well so if some clever sod out there can figure that out and tell me what it all means that'll be handy for me and probably handy for you as well maybe if you're interested in buying one of these it's not a review, it's just what I found. Uh, I don't feel qualified to do a review. Anyway, peeps, smaller fun this time, somewhere out there. I'll catch you soon. Ta-da.